What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today we're talking about Tesla's next generation battery technology, um, whether they're bringing battery cell production in-house and how that ties into new job postings um, in Louisville or Louisville, Colorado. So um, this is sort of just a brainstorm. Wanted to update you on what I'm scheming on and what I'm hearing um, in the Tesla rumor mill. So to start this out, a couple months ago, Tesla um, confirmed that it had a battery cell manufacturing job listing in Colorado, which is really interesting because up until this point, um, Tesla didn't really have any locations in Colorado. Um, they didn't have operations for like any battery cell lab in that state. But then they were hiring, according to this electric article, like a super specific um, manufacturing technician for cell manufacturing. Um, and they say Tesla is currently seeking a technician for a manufacturing line we are developing. You'll be part of a new product line we are developing. Very mysterious. And they say we are looking for an engineering technician to assist anode development and optimization R&D. Candidates should be familiar with lithium ion cell chemistry, have experience building and assembling cells for performance testing. This candidate will be a key member of a cross-functional product development team. This job includes the fabrication of laboratory scale lithium ion anodes, electrode processing, laboratory scale lithium ion cell build and data analysis. Um, the, primary, the primary responsibilities of this position will be to assist in experimental planning and carry out experiments and analysis. So this job posting out of nowhere in Colorado basically is saying that Tesla's testing all these crazy new types of batteries and cells and they're hiring for it. So I saw this, didn't think too much of it, but have recently started researching more and more into what is going on here in this area, just about 20 or 30 minutes north of Denver. Um, you know, why is Tesla hiring a battery cell expert there? And the more I started digging, I was, um, and I actually found this job posting which is still live today, a month old, Tesla, Louisville, Colorado, Louisville, Colorado, um, engineering technician to assist anode development and optimization R&D, um, the same sort of thing. Kind of should be familiar with lithium ion cell development. I think that it's pretty interesting here. We have the tasks, um, including electrode fabrication, de delicate assembly of coin cells, cell dissection, and running cell tests and data analysis. Um, they have to understand lab scale electrode slurry mixing and electrode coating, which sounds very familiar um, to the dry battery electrode technology that Tesla acquired with Maxwell, which apparently the big breakthrough there was the dry battery electrode instead of this wet solvent coating the electrode. They have this new dry electrode process. So it's interesting that the person they're hiring here in Colorado has to do with electrode coating. I'm totally out of my depth on what, how much those are related, but buzzwords keep popping up. They also see assembly of a variety of lithium ion cell prototypes, including coin cells and small pouch cells. Um, then they also sell experience in lithium ion cell builds, including electrode coating and cell assembly and familiarity with quality control methods used to evaluate the repeatability of assembly processes. So me reading in between the lines, it sounds like Tesla is hiring a couple jobs to basically try out all these crazy new types of battery cells and technologies in Colorado. And they're hiring people to help test and see if they can actually scale up and commercialize some of these battery breakthroughs. So a quick Google and you'll find that Louisville, Colorado is actually apparently a hotbed of next generation uh, lithium ion cell and sil uh, solid state battery development. A lot of this spunning out of um, academic work done at the University of Boulder, which has turned into this crazy little startup ecosystem right in the same micro neighborhood of Denver that Tesla is hiring in. So just to dive a little deeper here and tell you what I've been finding, um, the first thing I found is Volkswagen investing $10 million in a Colorado battery startup, which has ended up being called Forge Nano also based in Louisville, Colorado. Um, a little more research into them shows that they act actually raised 20 million before they even uh, partnered with Volkswagen. Specifically, they say Forge Nano is investigating a material coating technology that could further improve the performance of battery materials. Um, so it's really interesting that once again, we're getting to this like coating technology. It seems like that's what they're working on here. Um, if you go to their website, I, this is a little bit over my head, but they do have a section about lithium ion batteries and beyond. Uh, it's well documented that nanometer thick ceramic coatings on cathode powers to protect lithium ion batteries against electrode electrolyte degradation this protective barrier lengthens the battery life and protects batteries against high temperatures and fast charge rates um, resulting in safer and more versatile lithium ion materials so once again all getting back to that electrode electrolyte degradation new types of coating technologies to extend the life of batteries it seems very similar to what the person that tesla is hiring in this same area I'll get another quick google i found a company called solid power um, you can hit their website revolutionizing the battery powering the future safe energy dense all solid state batteries. Um, so they are a company uh, based, founded in 2012, spun out of University of Boulder to basically assemble this new type of solid state uh, battery. And um, 
I found this other interesting article in this like uh, Mile High Denver magazine about solid power um, talking about this technology and they say that they could uh, this new Campbell's uh, Doug Campbell's the start the founder of the company uh, his Louisville based crew is on the verge of making batteries that claims will extend a car's range by up to 50% um, they talk about how that could impact the Tesla Model 3 they talk about how Ford um, and other car companies have actually invested 20 million dollars in um, solid power so another company raising tens of millions of dollars here in the same exact space um, they actually say they also uh, have partnerships in place with bmw and ford so solid power partnering with bmw and ford to, co to commercialize this next generation solid state lithium ion battery then you have vw partnering with forge nano to commercialize this solid state lithium ion battery all in the same town of louisville kentucky um, they also add a little more uh, color in the article which i think is interesting about solid power here that say um, to put it simply lithium ion batteries utilize a liquid electrolyte that serves as sort of a highway for charged particles moving in between one anode at one end of the battery and the cathode on the other with a polymer separator between the two this liquid is flammable though if manufacturers pack too much of the energy into the device or the polymer breaks down a fire could occur the alternative batteries that replace the liquid electrolyte with a solid one which can't catch fire making the product safer in these solid state batteries the anodes are also also made Made of a, uh, a lithium metal which can uh, stock more power than the graphite used in lithium anode batteries but versions but early versions hit a stank the chemical recipe causes solid electrolyte to degrade immediately diminishing the battery's ability to hold your charge for the long time so now they're working on making extending the life of those batteries but anyway that was a uh, long-winded and sidetrack way of saying once again they're talking about this liquid versus solid electrolyte changing and innovating on the electrode and electrolyte um, part of the battery that is where the, this sort of next generation performance breakthroughs coming from so it's so so interesting and then there's even another company third place player in this, um, which is a smaller company, Sil Lion Inc., um, which I found a couple articles about, a little hard, bit harder to find. Um, in 2017, they won a $695,000 grant from the National Science Association to apply its battery technology with high-loading silicon anode and electrolyte technology into a commercially viable cylindrical cell. Tesla is one of the only people who uses cylindrical cells. Rivian is working on that as well. Um, they say silicon Sil Lion's technology de delivers a breakthrough in high-energy batteries by simultaneously incorporating high-loaded silicon anodes, nickel-rich NMC cathodes, and non-flammable ionic liquid electrolyte. These batteries offer a dramatic increase in both energy density and specific energy in lithium ion batteries while lowering costs by 30% and increasing safety. Uh, Sil Ion has scaled its battery market leading performance in pouch format cells for prototype production and commercial evaluation. As markets and manufacturing partners have requested the cylindrical cell format, industry will so shortly have this high performance platform available for broader product applications. So I just think this is insane. So Silion also, here's another article about them, um, and they talk about commer potentially commercializing this technology in about 24 months. This was done in early 2018, so that would point to them commercializing it um, around now, which is pretty interesting. Um, and they're also using the pouch format of cells. So, um, you know, it, it, it seems like they're dabbling with both cylindrical and pouch versions of that technology. So I'm, I'm, I, like I this this episode is gonna have way more like ideas and schemes than actual points because I have no idea what's happening but um, I, I google mapped all of these three companies Sil Lion Inc um, Solid Power and Forge Nano all of these companies commercializing next generation lithium ion cells or lithium ion battery technology with it sounds like work around the electrode or electrolyte just so so close to what Tesla acquired at Maxwell Technologies or at least very similar and if you actually google map them i think this is crazy you could drive to all, they're within 8.6 miles of each other all three companies you could drive to them in 19 minutes and if you zoom out a little this is just north of denver there's this like hub of just massive commercialization of this or trying to be commercialization of this crazy next generation battery technology all right next to each other all in louisville colorado where tesla happens to be hiring and i'll throw in another crazy tidbit or clue to this all of these companies solid power and forge nano have working websites who just took their website down sill ion inc and now tesla's hiring at a very similar location to sill ion inc like was there an aqua hire there so now i'm wondering like you know did tesla purchase one of these companies are they just poaching talent from these people is it just a coincidence that they're setting up an office in this location well i took a look at the latest sec filing from tesla about other acquisitions or acquisitions the companies completed in 2019 we all know about deep scale high bar and maxwell they disclosed the maxwell acquisition here but tesla also can make much smaller acquisitions without actually formally disclosing them i mean as you can see they say that during the nine months ended in, in september uh, 30th 2019 um, they actually have uh, made various acquisitions 
acquisitions, and the consideration for these acquisitions was $96 million. So some of that could have been deep scale or high bar, um, but this is interesting because it, Tesla has been making acquisitions, so it could have made a micro acquisition of a Louisville, Denver-based uh, battery company easily and slid it into the company, and they haven't started talking about it yet. But that's why they're hiring in that area. Thanks so much for tuning in to this episode. Um, I hope I didn't leave too many crazy breadcrumbs for you to follow, but I really wanted to just make this video to open it up to the community. Um, you've all been so helpful in doing research and helping me find out info about this um, that I'm really curious, and I would love you to start helping research, like what is Tesla doing in Colorado? Why are they hiring here? Why is there a hotbed of talent of this next generation battery technology? How is it related? What's going down? Um, leave me all your theories below because at a high level here, my prediction and my theory is that Tesla is setting up a next generation battery cell testing or maybe manufacturing lab in north of Denver um, in this Broomfield, Louisville area. And they're being really quiet about it, but we're gonna hear more news about it soon. And how are these other startups related? I don't know. That's what I need your help figuring out. Anyway, this is Hyper Change. I'll see you guys next time. Huge shout out to our Patreon supporters, producers, fun in the channel. Um, definitely check out our Patreon page. Weekly newsletter goes out there. Um, it's how I can make all this content. So really appreciate the support on that. Anyway, peace.